All right, in this topic, we're going to have a look at deciles. And as you can see from the word deciles, it comes from the concept of 10. The decimals and so on. But they've got a particular meaning. And one decile is worth 10% of the scores. So let's have a look and see what we can get in the way of uh, factual information. A natural and useful extension of the concept of quartiles, which is 25%, remember, is to divide the data into not four parts, but ten parts, with each with equal numbers of scores in each. So it's an equal division of the scores, and the set, these ten parts are actually called the deciles. So if you have decile one, then what you say is that 10% of the scores are below it and 90% above it. If it's decile 2, 20% below, 80% above and so on. Decile 3, 30% below and 70% above. So what you're finding is 10 scores uh, that basically tell you where the proportions of marks are. Notice that decile 5 must be the median because that separates it into 50% below and 50% above. So here's an example of how we can actually um, visualize the concept of deciles. So what we've got up here are the numbers 1 to 10. Here are the actual frequencies of scores. 120 scores is given the number 10 because that is all of the scores. So um, just use a smaller pen for that, I think. Here we go. So 120 is all the scores, and therefore it's given a decimal, a decile, sorry, of 10, which means that 100% of the scores are there. So if we want to find the first decile, we go up to, remember we've broken these up into percentages. So there it is, one decile, 10% of the way up, across to the, the uh, line or the ogive, and down we go. So we'd find that 10% of the scores this number down here is 13. Hard for hard to see, but that's what it is. All right, so it's 13. So we know that 10% of the scores are less than 13, and 90% are greater than 13. So the 40% or the fourth decile down to here, and that number, even though you can't see it, is 27. So what have we got there? 40% of the scores are below 27 and 60% are above. And finally, we've got our ninth decile where 90% of the scores are below this point here and this point here is 48. Now, if this was drawn to scale, you could actually see what those are, but because it's not, I'm giving those to you. But it just simply means that in this case, 90% of the scores are below 48 and the other 10% are above. So that's the concept of the deciles. Now, <coughs> excuse me, the box and whisker plots are a good way to illustrate data. So what we're going to do is to have a look at how a box and whisker plot works. For some of you, this is probably going to be a revision, but it's a, just a, simply a display of data, and on it, there are five pieces of information. And the five pieces of information are the highest score and the lowest score. The median, which is the second quartile, the first quartile, the third quartile. So there's one, two, three, four, five pieces of information. And this section in here, that part of it, because it's between the first and the third quartile, that section there makes up 50% of the scores. Remember, because 25% lie down here below the first quartile, 25% lie above, so the middle 50% are in here. And you can see from the labels, these parts are the whiskers, there's the box, and that line that splits the box, that's the median line, or another name for that, as we now know, is Q two or the second quartile. So let's have a look and see how we read one of these. In this particular case, once again, the scores are a little difficult to read, but you'll be able to see an approximation. So the highest score here is up somewhere here, and we're going to give it, because I know the actual scale, a score of 53. 
Now you may wish to stop the video at any time and see if you can fill out these details or at least turn the sound down so you don't have to listen to my voice and you have a go at writing in what you think the answers are. But I'm going to continue. The lowest score is down here and we're going to give that a value of 10. Which means that the range of the scores is 53 take away 10 which gives us 43 as the range. Now the median score we can read straight off here. This is the quartile 2, the median score. And reading it off, we're going to give a value of 36 to the median score. The upper quartile, that's this one here, or Q3, that's clearly 45. The lower quartile is down here, somewhere between 15 and 20. So we're going to give that the value of 18. And so our interquartile range is our upper quartile subtracting our lower quartile, giving us an answer of 27. Now, <clears throat> from these results, we can see that the bottom 25% of the scores take values from 10 up to but less than 18. The top 25% of the scores they take values from but not including 45 up to 53. So the middle 50% of the scores lie between, 50, between 18 and 45. Now let's have a look where the median is. The median is closer to the upper quartile here. It's closer to the upper quartile than the lower quartile. That means that the top half of the scores are clustered closer to the median than the bottom half. So what we've got is a cluster near the median of the top scores. They're more spread out than down here. So there's a clustering there. You can see, remember, the from here to here, is 25% of the scores and so is here. So that 25% is pushed into a smaller area, which means it must be clustering there. A lot more scores, well, the scores are pressured into a smaller range. Therefore, we call that clustering. <coughs> now, here's a couple more questions on these box and whisker plots. Notice there's clustering here as well, by the way. It says draw a box and whisker plot given the following information. So we've got all of these here. Now obviously in order to have these scores what we need is to have a scale that goes from at least 25 which was the lowest score to 82. So what we've done here is we've drawn a range from 20 to 90 and it's a lot easier to mark off. So the first thing we need to do here is to draw that number line from there to 20 to 90. That was the one we selected. I guess you could go from 10 to 100, but you don't need all of that. And then we need to mark in the five bits of information. So the first uh, one that we need here is the lowest score, which is down here, and the lowest score was 25. So there it is there. And the upper one, we put a dot there, by the way, a dot at the beginning of the end and the end. So the top score is 82, so there it goes. We also put a little mark here for the first quartile. So the lower quartile is 49, and the upper quartile is 71. Now I often draw a pencil line right through here, but only pencil because I can go over it later and mark off these points on that line. So I'm marking off that, the median gets marked here, and then the next thing to do is just to draw the box between the first quartile and the last quartile, draw a line in for the median, rub out the line and just make sure it's very clear, the dot for the whiskers and so on. So it's not a hard thing to do as long as you know what each of the five pieces of information are. Okay, let's keep going. Down here, now I've already drawn these for you to help you, but there, there's the information. It's all there. Now, we've got to actually work out the scoring system here. So the first thing we need is the lowest score, and there it is there, so that's no problem. We mark it on our scale, which we would have drawn, and our upper score, our highest score, there it is, 40. 
Notice we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 scores. So n plus 1 over 2 is 10 plus 1, 11 over 2, which is equal to 5.4, sorry, 5.5. So we know that the median is going to be between two numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there it is in there, the median. We average 37 and 38, 37.5. And along this line, we mark that. And then, of course, we've got to look at these numbers here. And there's our lower quartile, which we mark in. There's our upper quartile. Notice there it is all there. There's the middle one. And we mark that in. And then we finish by drawing up the boxes. It's not a very hard thing to do as long as you get the information that you need correct. Those five things that you need, you must do correctly. And your drawing should then be, if you do it carefully, will be correct.